Yeah, so a, a classic challenge has been that IT operations and developers speak different languages, right? They think about things differently, they look at the world differently. And oftentimes their tooling shows different views of the world. And that can make it really challenging for them to collaborate and work together to deliver an application into production. And so one of the beautiful things that we're doing with Tanzu and VMware Cloud Foundation is that as developers are using Kubernetes and using that interface and provisioning applications and pods and containers and, and clusters, that those same objects are fully visible now in the vSphere client. And we're literally seeing them made here as they're being built. Exactly. So as a developer types it in, immediately the IT operations teams, the VI admins are seeing that as well. So they're really reading off the same page. Exactly. So now when they're talking to each other, they're actually speaking the same language. <laughs> exactly. So it's great that ops get to see these new constructs. Yeah. But Crucially, the tools they're using are very familiar to them. So I think it's really important to understand this is not just a little UI update we've done here. You know, we fundamentally built Kubernetes into our software-defined data center. This means that these objects that are visible here, again, Kubernetes concepts like namespaces and pods, are not just visible, but you can actually act on them. You can leverage all the great vSphere capabilities, things around storage policies or resource management capabilities or DRS. All of these are now available to uh, our VI admins and to IT operations to start leveraging all the tools they've already used to run their existing applications in production, they can now take and apply to their modern applications as well. These concepts are now there, but it's how do we ensure that we can continually evolve our VI admins in terms of their capabilities and role.